the three horses that are going to be looks like they're going to be running in uh, Kentucky Downs TVG preview weekend. Mm -hmm. You had Royal Prince going in the prep for the Dueling Ground Derby and Adventuring going in the prep for the Dueling Ground Oaks. They worked together. Uh, talk to, about what you were looking for and what you saw out there. Uh, you know, uh, all week the horses got very good and uh, tried to make a good uh, match today. And uh, go the first three A's and 38, 49 and four. 101 and 4. Very good for these two. Uh, I, I, I think both horses ready for next next week here. Now, eventually she's coming out of that race at Churchill Town, at Tepid. I think that was her first uh, grass start, right? First time in the grass, you know. Uh, I kind of think the filly likes the turf, but uh, it's, it's having only one, one, it's not really faster, you know, and it's what, try to give it another shot here in the you, turf, let's see what So happens. you thought that the turf could be if, uh, like firmer yeah. for her? Yeah. yeah. I think be farther is better for her. Yeah, and um, Royal Prince, you know, always I think the horse is very nice, and um, I think this horse be show up some, something next next week. Well, you've been a very good tout for us over the, the years with some of these horses. I mean, are there some that you really just feel like you don't know who's going in against them, but that are just, these, these horses, will those two will both be racing Saturday, uh, but you think there's just really yeah, sitting on Yeah, you know, I, I, I kind of I like the way the horse is doing, and uh, I, th I think I have a very nice shot, yeah. Now you have Hieronymus going in the preview Mint Million, um, and he just is coming off a win in the Mystic Lake mm -hmm. at Canterbury. It seems like he's a hard knocking type horse. So. Yeah, you know, this horse is very honest horse, travel hard every time she run. And uh, last week, Briss in 51, and you know, I think Briss good, but uh, I kind of think put a company for this week, and a Briss and company today, and 48 and 3, minute and 3. I'm very happy for this breeze. I think this horse will be tough next Sunday. You, you all got off to a real fast start. You're winning, uh, you know, you're even with Asmussen winning one a day, it looks like you got a clear lead in the trainer standings. I mean, did Bradley, your cupboard pretty full for you here at Ellis Park? Uh, pretty well stocked? Uh, you know, Brad, I think uh, this is one that I think is the best. And, uh, you know, this, uh, I think she have a very good start for everywhere to be honest <laughs> but you, you feel like that the meat's gonna the role you all been on this meat will just continue yeah yeah i really think uh i'm excited for the two year olds start running i think be good and good and now, good the barn had a big day yesterday you had the two-year-old champion essential quality winning the gym dandy at saratoga and then the week before that you had Mandaloon, the Derby runner-up, winning the Grade One Haskell. Nice horses, very good horses, and in, in the program and the overnight you see a Central Quarterly is uh, Mound the Eight. But I think this horse ran a Mound the Half yesterday. Ran <laughs> very good, nice horse, and the horse know where is the choir is and always try to get it there first.